And you, you talentless, tasteless fiends, how dare you insult my music? Could you do better? Yes! No, you couldn't. Because I was trained at the Bots College in Solitude, and I'm the foremost practitioner of the art of song since Wagner himself. You are nothing more than jealous maggots, grasping your ways to insult me and belittle my talent. And to that, I say, good day. It is times like these that one craves sugar. And we're back. In the general view in where we just witnessed Elsewhere is one of the most horrendous performances rocky canyons, ever. Where the sun shines warmly, always. And apparently he was hired by the innkeeper here. Who must have just not known how bad he was. Which is pretty incredible, really, seeing as I could have... Oh. oh. Okay, I'm... What can I get you? Whatever you want to get me. That, um... Okay, that was a little strange. I, I came here. Be more careful. I'm, so, I'm sorry, it's just... Look, somebody who works here just walked at me with an axe. And that was right after that horrendous song. So you'll forgive me if I'm a little kerfuffled, okay? Come, warm yourself by the hearth. How is business? How is rumors? Tell me about the general... T okay, you know what? T tell me about the general view. We're renowned through all Cyrodiil and beyond as the finest inn, restaurant, and entertainment location in all Tamriel. We spare no expense for our customers' pleasure. F uh, finest entertainment? Uh, okay. And how's business? Probably going to do better now that you fired the singer. Business at the Gerald View is always good due to our exceptional standards for customer service. We strongly believe that if you build it, they will come. Okay. Having to resist the urge to slap you upside the head. Um. Any rumors? Adius Vilius has been walking around looking flustered lately. You know. Captain of the City Watch? Not sure what's got him in such a knot, though. Oh! Kajo grumbles about the lack of food. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's one of his uh, guards is basically trying to uh, prove she can do a better job than him, so he's feeling the pressure. That's what I think. Heard any rumors? You know that bard? Oh, no, we're not even toned? Yeah! yeah. I hear the Jukanis paid him to watch over and entertain their kid, Banus, while they were out of town. Apparently, his attempts at lullabies scared the child so much, he ran away from the bard and cried in the street until his parents got back. Okay. I could believe that. Don't ask about any more rumors. Do you need any work? Is there any work around here? As it happens, yes, I do. I need the shipping request delivered to Greenwood. My regular courier is unavailable. If you're able to act in his stead, I'll reward you with coin. Uh, excellent. Greenwood. I'll do it. No problem. I'm no courier. I I don't mind being a courier. It lets me get out and see the sights, doesn't it? Excellent. Take this to Afur Formalius at Greenwood, down where the Geralds meet the Great Forest. I'll deliver payment on your return. Okay. Anyway, what I actually came in for was a room. It's ah, getting dark out. You did well so. to choose the Jural View. Jural, is Your it room Jural? rental also includes complimentary access to the Jural View bathhouse on the lower floor. You have a bathhouse? Peruse it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. Okay. Uh, your room's just this way. Please, follow me. Okay, let, let's follow him to the room and find out where the room is and then... Hello? Hi, I'm glad you got rid of... Aren't you the mother? I've got to talk to you, I think. My room's near to the bathhouse, maybe? No? Okay, I'm I'm following you. You you gonna go? Gerald View in basement. Okay. Open. Do it which one is mine? 
Okay, this isn't too bad, Let actually. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No, I've got a sweet roll, apparently. I've got a bed. Where was this bathhouse you mentioned? Wine, mead, ale, water. What will it be? You said bathhouse. What is it? Okay, that's the general view in that... Oh, there's the bathhouse. All right. So, that Can takes us back you? to the inn. We got Khajiit got your rooms. Back. Probably just another room. Yeah, okay. Let's check out the bathhouse. Can I help you? Excuse uh, me. Oh. I'm sorry to bother. It's just that my most prized possession has gone missing, and I fear that without help, I'll never get it back. I normally wouldn't approach a stranger like this, but, well, I'm at the end of my tether. I could really use some help. Uh, could I hire you? I could pay you handsomely. Sure. Is that right? I, of course I'll help. I'll need more information as well, but I, I will help. I will help. Excellent. Thank you. The heirloom has been stolen. Well, by all accounts, the thief fled to the northeast of Bruma. I suspect they're holed up in Frozen Grotto. If you are able to retrieve my heirloom for me, I'll be forever in your debt. Okay. New map location marked. Okay. We, we, Can I help it, you? Khajiit got your back. Okay. We'll do that tomorrow, though. It. Be it, more careful. I'm trying to get down the You're stairs. You're the one that keeps jumping in front of me. Hello. Really? That's some light. Ah, another patron of this fine bathhouse. Please come in, come in. Bates? The water's fine. Excellent, even. Uh, okay, she took off her clothes, he what didn't. Hello. Uh, I sort of feel like I should at least take my cloak off and... Do you, uh... Can I leave the crown on and my ring? Okay. Khajiit got your back. Aren't okay. You, you know, feeling a bit ah, of a draft? Someone else who desires a relaxing bath, yes? Welcome to the bathhouse, fair patron. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? Um, I'm Richard. An excellent name. I, I get so. the feeling that you and I are about to become good friends indeed, yes? I, I don't know. I call myself Bathes in Murky Waters, though friends call me Bathes, for I enjoy bathing in baths very much. These are dark times for the Empire, wouldn't you say? It still has not recovered from the Great War. And now, once again, it appears it will descend into turmoil. The Dominion are increasing their presence. And I hear rumors, whispers on the wind, of insurrectionist groups agitating against the current government. Some of the political families of Cyrodiil are even vying to place themselves upon the ruby throne. What say you to that, friend? Why are we discussing politics in a public bath? The Empire has seen better days, but it'll pull through. The Empire won't last much longer. That's clear day. I have no idea. I'm not one for politics. It's useless to speculate. You've got to survive. Why are we discussing politics in a public bath? Probably because it's a conversation. Um, I'd like to think it'll pull through. It's useless to speculate. Just got to survive. That's also not true. Let's question him first. Why are we discussing this? Bats are relaxing, yes? Unwind the muscles, release tension. Surely the best place to have rational discussion about sensitive subject matter. Possibly true. Um, it's seen better days, but it'll pull through. It won't last, it won't last much longer. I've no idea. I'm going to play dumb in this one because you seem a little... Uh, yeah. I've no idea. Ah, but friend, that is a fool's outlook. If you do not involve yourself in politics, you become a powerless spectator. Now, friend, tell me honestly. And remember, we are friends here in this most innocuous of public places. What do you truly think of the Median Empire? Um, this is surreal. Discuss, right, I'm not telling you what I think about it. They betrayed us all by 
bowing to the Dominion. They do what they have to do given the circumstances. I'm not... I'm somewhere between these two, basically. I don't know enough about you, though. I I don't know whether you're... You could be a Dominion spy. I do tend to think that the deal they made with the uh, Dominion is unfortunate. My thoughts on it being betrayal less so than they used to be. I've, I've seen so much that I understand sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Uh, this is surreal. Discussing politics with a stranger in a public bath. This you greatly saddens oh. me. But time may change your political allegiances. Now, you may yet stumble upon me bathing elsewhere when your thoughts are different. Yes. Okay. I was supposed to answer him within a certain amount of time then, was I? Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but... Yeah, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Oh, I took off the amulet as well. And my crown. Atronarch stone gained. Brilliant. Right, and let's put the cloak back on. Right. Yeah, I'm not... I need to find out more about him before I give him an honest answer, I think. If I... If I thought he was against the Dominion and had some way of perhaps being a thorn in the Dominion side... I might actually be interested in something he has to say. Oh... God, fine. Come here. If anyone sneaks up on us. I've had a night's sleep after giving Kajo a ton of food, including grapes and pies and you name it. He should now be set for quite some time. And I've eaten a little myself for breakfast. Okay. I think now it's time to have a little bit of a chat with some of the patrons. I did see some interesting people around. The Gerald View is quite an agreeable venue. So, what can I play for you? Oh, are you the new bard? Are you the new... Steel tanker? Apparently you're not even here. See, he stepped Good on morning. a plate. You didn't say anything to him. No, you didn't. Alright. Okay, I'm sure we'll meet some of the other patrons another time. I've had a night's sleep. That was the most important thing. I've also seen the worst bard in the history of your back. ever. Hello? Damnable tavern. Damnable owner. How dare he allow that lizard to engage in such a salacious display. It's scandalous. What lizard? Serendil. Hmm? What's your problem with the restful watchman? Restful Watchman. Isn't that another tavern? It's a DD squad filled with criminals, rats, and lice. The amount of underhanded deals and crooked business that goes on there, it beggars belief. Okay. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Say, would you help me with that? Mm, no. Uh, no. No. I... I'm not used to being refused. Uh, well, you need but practice then. So be it. I'm not Until getting next time. wrapped up in some harebrained scheme to get some tavern owner in trouble. In fact, I'm tempted to report you. Get a slice of Skyrim right here in Cyrodiil. Nord artifacts. Okay. Hello, Rilia Stonehearth. Here to browse my fine selection of ancient Nordic items. Uh, maybe. Why sell ancient Nordic artifacts? Um, why not? Good comeback. Uh, how is business? It's doing well. Really? A lot of travelers tend to buy from me, as well as young Nords who are soul-searching, trying to find the Nordic heritage here in Cyrodiil. Okay, uh, and where did you get the artifacts from? Many of them I collected during my adventuring days. 
I used to wander Skyrim in search of opportunity and adventure. Yeah. I went through my fair share of Nordic ruins back in those days. And I took a liking to the ancient Nordic metalwork. So, I began to collect them as I adventured. And when I finally decided to settle down, I had quite an extensive stock. Fair enough. And why are you here in Cyrodiil if you're so attached to Skyrim? The same reason I sell ancient Nordic artifacts. So that the young Nords here in Bruma ah. can be reminded of the roots. Better business. Bruma has all the surface trappings of Skyrim. The snow, the cold. But Skyrim is so much more than that. Something Bruma isn't and can never be. It's about the Nordic ruins dotting the landscape. About the dragon walls. It's about the diversity. Wide Run and the Reach, the Pale and East March. That variation of Nordic culture is something Cyrodiil doesn't have. You're making me miss the place now. presence here reminds just a few Nords that they're not just Imperials with more facial hair and deeper voices. Now I want to go back to Skyrim. I miss it. And I'm a Breton. Do you have any work? As it happens, yes. Ancient Nordic weapons. They're a big chunk of my business, and I'm running low. If you happen to come across any in your travels, I'd pay you well. Ancient Nordic weapons. Okay, sure. Uh, the only thing is, is I've probably sold a bunch Excellent. recently. Okay, I need to return five ancient Nordic weapons to Rilia Stonehearth. Do you have anything? Have a browse. Let me know if you like what you see. Okay. Uh, you... Things like ancient Nord... Armor, maybe? No, you wanted weapons, didn't you? You're only selling armor, hence the reason you want to buy weapons. You've got 800 gold, and you would buy that, but that's worth 2,000 and nothing else. Okay, then I'm afraid... Oh, no, you can have the silver plate. Have a silver plate. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. So we need to... Good morning. Okay, morning. And you are Grifford Petten. Hello. Okay, you seem nervous. Do you? Well, you do. Uh, you can tell. Huh? I'm very perceptive. Yeah, I'm not exactly the best salesman. Don't exactly like being one either. Don't worry, though. I'm a much better tailor than I am a merchant. Oh. Why are you a merchant if you don't like being one? You know, I always thought about doing something else. Becoming an adventurer or... It's just, well, I'm not cut out for that kind of lifestyle. Well, as my good Malway said, Gryfard, my worthless, good-for-nothing son, you've got to do something with your life. And since you seem to be better at sewing than spellcasting, you'd best become a clothing merchant. So, here I am. Well, surely if you... Yeah, she's a lovely woman, my mother. Powerful mage, too. If you see her around these parts, though, you warn me right away. She's the reason I left High Rock. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. She, okay. How's business? All right, I suppose. My sales pitch isn't very good, I know, but I still get a fair few customers. Everyone needs something to wear, I guess. It seems a bit odd. I mean, if you like making clothes, but you don't like selling them, why don't you, I don't know, get an assistant to do the selling for you? You probably sell more. You could pet... Whatever. Let's have a look. What you got? Take a look. Okay. Um, you have a little amount of money. I'll bet you'll buy some of the stuff that others won't. Yes, indeed. You will buy some of the things like the ebony diamond ring or the... This... Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. And good luck. I hope you start enjoying your... Chosen profession a little more. Okay, th that's the weird links. guy. That's the weird guy. Robes and Don't make eye contact. Is this the other tavern? The Restful Watchman. Yes, indeed. This is the lesson. Can I help you? Find your step. Wait a minute. I'm trying to th think. Okay. Hello, crouches in crevices. The prey approaches. Oh. Can I help you? Uh, apparently not. If anyone sneaks Light. up on us, let there be. Coming. 
Dumrag grow more. Fantastic. Can I help you? Uh, to fail at a simple job like that. No way it was just a coincidence. It must have been. Oh, hello. What are you looking at? Speak. Uh, what were you mumbling about? I. That's none of you. I suppose there's no harm in telling you now. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to help. I'm a mercenary. Been one for years now, and I don't often fail a job. But this last time, I did fail, but not through any fault of my own. No, of course not. No, no, no. Let me guess. You need a hero to save the day. Uh... Yeah. Cut out the sarcasm. I don't appreciate it. If you want to help me, okay, no, that's fair if you enough. want no, no, the honor of working by my side, then you should at least exercise respect. Now you're right. I'd been hired by some anonymous noble to clear out a cave full of bandits near Bruma. Offer some nice coin, too. My wife came with me. We were battle partners. Things were going well until we were ambushed. Bandit reinforcements showed up out of nowhere, flanking us the way we came. They bound us and gagged us, left us disarmed and defeated. They left with my wife and left me to die. I managed to escape my captivity, but when I got back to the cave, they'd gone. All of them. Including my wife. I've been searching for her damn near a whole year now. No success. Okay, yeah, I'm really sorry about the rudeness before. It just... It, you, you just get used to everybody needing help. But in this particular case, I'm, I don't mind anyway. I mean, it's... It's, you know... I, I was planning on seeing the sights, and this is basically the way I do that. So, uh, yes, of course I help. Praise Malakath. Once you turn up something solid, let me know. I'll be here. The best place to start is probably the castle. Ask the nobles, see if they know anything. All right, ask the nobles to see if they know anything about ugly love, okay? I'm just hoping this isn't going to be- doing gawking at me? Shoo! I've given you a task. Unless you think you've found the culprit. No, no, no. Okay, right. Hello, the restful watch. Bentior. Rooms and food. That's what we do. What do you need? I need your lips to you move here when to you do talk. Business? Um, this place seems filthy and full of undesirables. Do you get much trouble in here? It seems to me you're starting trouble asking questions like that. I this is a fine establishment. We don't pretend to be more than we are, though. Now, what can I get you? Okay, I was just asking, right? Do you ever run into trouble giving your taverns? Uh, no. How a about little birdie told me that you're annoying me. Fine, I will go away See then, shall I? My light sources. Crouch Hello. Hello. All right. Fine. So they don't like questions in that particular tavern. Talk to the weirdo. Condemned house. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Flashback time. Is that the place? Is that the place? Might be the place. Endurance perk of it. What was available? Oh, do I have to make camp and do the whole thingy? I have no idea what that was for. A cut above. This another shop? One I've missed? Missed. I've not been down here. Uh. Yeah. Okay. That that really doesn't work well, does it? Maybe the torch. Would the torch look better in an establishment like this? I don't have one. What? No, it has You're the same real problem, doesn't it? I mean, overall. Uh, whatever. Wait, Who needs cut above the rest. Guards, your back. Get it? Sorry, old joke. Yes, it's a terrible joke as well. However, don't worry about it. Oh, ho, ho, fresh meat in Bruma. <laughs> okay, not many red guards in Bruma. You're right, there aren't. It doesn't surprise me. The biting chill up here is a far cry from the golden sun of Hammerfell. Far cry from the lukewarm of the rest of Cyrodiil, too, now that I think about it. Doesn't bother me as much as most. Then again, I spend most of my time in my house with a nice warm hearth to keep me cozy. Okay. And uh, how's business then? So-so. I mean, it's good and I'm earning a decent living, but I guess I expected more. 
Here in Bruma, the most Nordic place in all Cyrodiil, I expected my meat to be selling by the bucket load. Nords and their appetite for meat and all. Seems right. what I didn't consider is that the Nords love meat just as much as they love fighting. They'll go out and strangle a deer to death, which you can probably guess undermines my business somewhat. Still, I'm doing all right. Okay. The butcher. Uh, yeah, right. Skingrad didn't have as many lucrative opportunities as I would have liked, so I got thinking. How can I make my fortune? One of my friends, a Nord guy by the name of Nolir, he was insane for meat. Put a steak in front of his face and throw it all the way to Coral. He'd run after it like a rabid dog. He gave me the idea. That name rings a bell. I thought to myself, if the Nords love meat so much, why not cater directly to that need? Cut out the innkeeper, middleman, and let the Nords come to a dedicated butcher? And so I did exactly that. Okay. So, right. Okay, so basically you just sell food. Uh, you and Kajo are going to get on famously. What is it? Isla the Upright. Not uptight, okay? Upright. Good morning. I'd like to buy a paint horse. What? What breed of horses do you sell? I sell paint horses. They're leaner and more agile than the hulking horses you'll find across the border in Skyrim. Oh. Admittedly, there are better breeds of horses elsewhere in Cyrodiil, but none of them come as cheaply as mine. But I like my horse. So your horses are faster than ones I could find in Skyrim? Faster and leaner indeed. Might not be able to withstand quite as many sword blows, mind you. Mm. But who cares about that, eh? Me. Unless you tend to use your horse as some sort of fighting partner. No, but I do have a problem with weak horses, I'm afraid. Uh, I, you know, basically don't want them dying to random rocks in the road. Do you get a lot of problems at the stable? Life as a stable master isn't so bad. It can be downright rewarding sometimes. Though, and I'm embarrassed to admit this, but, well... We did lose a horse a few weeks ago. The owner's incredibly upset, as you can imagine. According to a few people nearby, it galloped off to the north, but I don't know where it could have gone to or why. Sadly, I haven't had the time to look into it either. Uh, I could try and find it. Believe me, Traveler, if you do that for me, I'd be very grateful. Like I said, it went off to the north. I'd start there. Okay, I'll, I, could, I could do that. Here's the thing, I'm getting this urge to explore your basement. What is it? It wasn't this building, was it? Always good to see another customer here at the butcher. It's, it's been a long time that since I read the book about that story. Mm -hmm. Night vision. Um, Can I help you? Okay. Harold Birdson's son? Uh, house? Griffith Petten's house? Okay, this is Silver Plow House. That sounds... Okay, I think we've done it. I think we have actually gone everywhere. Apart from that one row, let's have a look now. Hide and seek. No, 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 no. They're all miscellaneous. Take the shipping request after the f to after Familius in Greenwood. Okay, yeah, yeah. Return five ancient Nordic weapons to Aurelia Stonehearth and search for the missing horse. We've got Plenty of things to do. Stranger, Plenty of have you seen my dad? Yeah, I'm, I'm on it, kid. I am. Plenty of... Dad... Ah, uh -huh, what? Yes, Dad... Tacto... You're taking us somewhere warm. Oh, oh, are you a hunter? What brought you to... Bro I'm just... I'm just being nosy. But you were complaining about someone, were you? Who is it you're complaining about? His name is Rina. Oh, God. Damn fool apparently thinks he's the divine's gift to singing. He's terrible. I've heard. He's loud. I hear his terrible performances from the streets. It's getting very irritating. The beggar, Relente, has shown a particular interest in getting Rina to shut up for some reason. You could go speak with him. Perhaps he'd even pay you. <laughs> Yeah, very funny. Speak to Rel... Rel... Tell you about Renaud Eventon. Is he gonna, like, ask me to go beat him up? To shut him up? 
I have to say, that would be a terrible thing to do, but there'd be a little side of me that would be tempted. So you're a hunter? Yes, indeed. This one labors long and hard to earn his keep. Hunting can be tiring, exhausting, but this one must press on. Although... Hmm... This one is feeling a bit lazy today. What if you were to bring him some bear pelts instead? He will pay you well. Okay, I... I shh, how do I know you give me... Yeah, no, fine, fine. I'll bring Excellent. you some bear. Just return to this one when you have... Oh, say... Ten of the pelts. Okay, sure. We, we, we've probably got some pelts, actually. Well, I say we. Kajo has probably got some pelts. Okay, so... Speak to Realm to I'm getting quite a, a list of sights to see whilst I'm here. Was that my stomach or your stomach? I have a few things to do inside Bruma, and I still have a few places left to check out, including the keep and Kajit, the Kajit, Fighters Kajit. Guild and the Synod building. However, I've got to tell you, I kind of want to get out and stretch my legs a little. I think we should go and kill those marauding bandits because we've already been here. It's just it's just a quick trip down the road. Can I can I use shouts here without everyone freaking out? Um I just, I kind of want the weather to be better. Oh god, I probably shouldn't get in trouble with the Lord. They're, they're actually after me. You know, I'm supposed to have fixed that, but it still requires two. That's better, isn't it? That is better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat going. Right. You are taking us somewhere warm. Well, no, we're staying somewhere cold, but at least it's sunny now. Which will mean it will warm up a little during the day. But once the night falls, it will get cold pretty damned quickly. Where did we... We didn't come from there, did we? We came from there, I think. There is another way. That heads off. Oh, right. The stables and... That is going to take us around. We don't want to go there at the moment. I tell you what. Let's not explore too much. Because I have a feeling we're going to find some reason... To visit pretty much everywhere. Regardless. So, you know, running around exploring. Oh, God, I want to run around and explore there. I really do. I just have a feeling the universe is not yet ready to let me visit the Imperial City. Yeah. I really do want to visit the Imperial City. That... That would just be awesome. I have to say, there is a slight Skyrim feeling. There are some similarities, the cold, the mountains, and yet, somehow, there is also a not Skyrim feeling. I just know I'm not in Skyrim. Even though the trees are similar, the rocks are similar. There are just telltale signs. I think we're carrying on. And I'm not totally sure what they are at the moment. I'm not totally sure what it is. It could just be foreknowledge. I know I'm not in Skyrim, therefore things look different. It's not, though. It's like that tower. The sight of that tower. That's a constant reminder I'm not in Skyrim. Constant reminder that I need to go and... Oh. And there's the Imperial City again! Could also be the subtle change in atmosphere. 
and by atmosphere I mean the tune I'm humming in my head. Hello? Down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are these the bandits I'm supposed to be... Probably. Okay. Where is Kajal? Uh, you know what? Many of them as possible. That's good, that's good. Arrow to the knee! Is this, that, that is Kajal behind me, isn't it? It is! Nice! Oh, you've just to prove you've got an arrow sticking out of your head. You look like a Dalek. Just to prove. Knee time. Oh, that was not the knee. That was the knee. Right, tell you what, kill the knee. Can't you move, 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 move. Oh god, sorry, casual. I am really sorry. Where's my, where's my, oh, I didn't shield up. The day you die. Possibly, possibly not. That has yet to be decided. Oh god, that was coming. Run, run. I don't think casual's gonna let you. Nope. I was not expecting to meet them here. Okay, right, and I need to get the sword. So this is drag. Oh, of course. That's right, it's the big pointy bit of rock. The phallic symbol naturally occurring. Blade of the Cut Purse takes five points of shock damage to health and magicka. Why is that? What's that got to do with cutting purses? Okay. That's not, that's not the one I'm supposed to be taking, is it? Could be, I suppose. No, you, you're, you're going to be the person who has what I need, surely, Iron Sword? No. The wise trick. And it's Sorcerer. Okay, which of you the has... The best opportunities, even if you must travel far to find them. Yeah, well, we've traveled... Pretty damned far, my friend. Maybe not as far as... It's not that one, is it? Search bandit. Search... Maybe you. Hello. Red apple. Don't mind if I do. Do we shoot some of them far up here? Whoa. Killed the brigands, eh? Well, that's a thorn removed from our side at the very least. Too bad I couldn't claim the blade and the glory for myself, though. Oh! Garcia Savochi's the commander of the Western Watchtower. He's one of these bandits dead for a long time. I bet Arias sent you here for the blade so she can go boast to the nobles. Listen, she wants to be reassigned, and, and I understand that. But Garcias needs the sword more. Morale is really suffering over there. I know you'll make the right call. Bring the bandit blade to Garcias, Avoci, or Areas Snowfist. Now, the thing is, he's... You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. I mean, I want to do the right thing, but I did agree to help her out. I agreed to help her out. I hope you will find a warmer welcome. And I'd like to think I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of many words. Aha! Aha! I suppose that is a word. Okay, so I got the correct blade then. It was it was that blade. I I don't know, Kajo, but I mean if I had more information as to the two people involved, but she asked me to get the blade for her. She asked me to deal with the bandits, and I've done that at her request. It really is. She should be the one who gets the glory. If Well, you could argue I'm the one that should get the glory, but she's the one that had the foresight to ask the Dragonborn and Thane of Whiterun to help her out, which was a very wise move, all things considered. We have... some gentlemen. 
Greetings, friend. Greetings. Say, would you be interested in a little bit of revelry? Revelry? Yes, revelry. We've got lots of fine drink here. Why not partake in some? Okay. Would you like the list of reasons alphabetically or by priority? It would be rude, I suppose. I mean, I, I, I'm a guest in their country. And I suppose a drink, one drink, they're going to drug it. I'm a naturally suspicious person. I've been trying to work on that. I think Kajo's... Is that your way of hinting, Cut? Fine, we're going with Kajo. Kajo, Kajo thinks we need a break. And apparently he's very thirsty. All right. <laughs> Go ahead then. Drink up. Okay. I see you're already feeling the reveler's spirit. No. Another? No, 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 I'm... Whoa! Oh. If I wake up naked... Quickly, while he's out, slip that into his pocket. You know what the master said. Slip what into my pocket? I suppose that's better than... Am I going to be naked? I'm going to be naked. You're taking us somewhere warm. Not now, Kajo! 